Welcome back to another episode of Iruma-kun. Last time, what did we do? We had a new arc. We're beginning a new arc. We'll start the episode before that, but the monster... No, it's not the monster. It's the battler arc. I guess we're recruiting rookies. We're going to join new clubs. Why? Because this is a way to rank up in Iruma's goal right now. He doesn't really... Well, right now he's trying to rank up to find, like, seek purpose, but he doesn't really know what his goals or dreams or ambitions really are. So he's like, well... Fuck, I'll work towards something and eventually maybe it'll provide a path towards a dream, an ambition like Amity wants you to be in. Amity does give us fucking recruitment. Amity gives us, hey, I, it's not like I want to give you a post or anything, but here, you better show up or something. I wanted Iruma to join Amity, but hey, it's okay. We're still getting the daytime, you know, shoujo manga reading. But unfortunately, or maybe fortunately, we're joining a different battler. Seems like we're going to join the Magic Apparatus Item Battler Club. The guy is kind of really unique because, well, first of all, he has an item that has the same material as the gluttonous feeder ring. So he knows about that ring, which should be a big deal. I don't think many people realize what kind of ring that was other than Sullivan. Like, did even Karigo understand what that was? Maybe not, but he did. He seems to understand that the material is made of the same thing. They actually store the same energy. Well, it's not the same energy, but it said that his necklace also stores energy. Apparently, he himself is really weak. He's like a rank 2, same rank as Iruma, but as we see again, people in the higher ranks, they shit on lower ranks, even if you're an upperclassman. It's like, oh shit, it's an upperclassman, my bad. Oh, you're in rank 2? Get the fuck out of here, right? So rank really does mean everything in this world. He, I think, is very special because we're automatically kind of like... The show shows us in a way where he seems to be very weak and timid. He's a pushover, kind of like Iruma. They're kindred spirits, maybe, but I feel like there's way more than the, more to him than meets the eye. A crazy theory would be, oh, maybe he's really strong because the energy and his necklace, like, he has it in him to restrain himself because that's how powerful he is without it. I don't fucking know. Probably not. Maybe it is, but he seems to be more focused on research and maybe it's going to help out Iruma with this. I don't know. His, his, his ring got new modes and everything, right? Maybe it can teach him how to use it better. Because we haven't gotten the serious arcs yet. We haven't gotten major fights yet, right? That still hasn't shown up. And this is a shonen series. It should show up anytime soon. So we're slowly ramping up. This guy is going to teach us a bunch of stuff. But I'm sorry, Emily. No, no, no battler with you guys. I, I wanted that route. But maybe this will be more interesting. Let's start today's episode. <laughs> so I guess this is like the banner for um, to invite new people to our club, right? We got we to gotta, we gotta make it proper impressions. But unfortunately... I think the person that she's doing this for, exactly pumped for this year, the person she wants isn't coming. It's not Asmodeus. Although he did get the uh, the invite on behalf of Iruma. But I feel like at this rate, Asmodeus might be just joining this. Because she's doing all this for Iruma, right? But like, he's probably going to join the Magical Apparatus Battler at this rate. Oh my god. He's decorating like Christmas. <laughs> oh my god, she's doing this for Iruma like this! He would, but... Will he show up? I don't think he will. Oh, about the student council press status? No! Yeah, no, you never mentioned it? No, he didn't even know! He, I, I guess to her it might be... Okay, she's making some scenarios in her own head. Watching her in Dem Dilemma like this is actually cute too. Because it's like the indomitable Ameri, right? Strong girl. Now I think, oh no, what if she thinks that I'm annoying or I'm too much because I'm the student council press? Building things is... So... Hold up, we're... This is a new aspect of Iruma I never knew. He's an actual engineer, he builds shit from ground up. Well, I'm sure because of his part-time job, random jobs, but... Is this gonna... Be like a... Skill that carries over? Into this anime and beyond, like, I, I don't think they would just casually mention that unless it's actually important that Iruma maybe can build shit later on too. I don't know. We're going a really different route with the main character here. You can draw your magic to its limit. Hmm. His goal is to, what was it? Rank is the most important thing, right? But like, um, his goal was to basically provide equality for everybody. To have magical apparatus. Mmm, weapons. He's gonna be so important in the future. Everybody that can't keep up with just magic. The power gap disappears. That is such a idealistic approach to this. To level out the playing field. But 
I'm sure a lot of people would not agree to this idea. This is kind of like mirroring real life scenario. Whenever you have shit that brings the floor up, the people that's already up here, it's gonna start gatekeeping, arguing about why this is bullshit. No, Iruma himself needs this. In fact, he is a benefactor of, you know, magic apparatus item. I wonder who's gonna... Okay, I'll call him Kiriwo instead of Ami, but... Wow, he wants to join it of his own volition. Even perfect. Even more perfect. It's all in the ring. Y'all... But are you really like... Does he really have no magic or is this some kind of... Fake us to make us feel like, oh, he's just useless, weak dude, but actually super OP. Or maybe he'll become quite competent later on. Maybe he could even fight with weapons in the future. He sounds like he has like an Osaka dialect. When you hear it in Japanese, it sounds like the character from like Summertime Rendering talking. Like it's a very countryside dialect, huh? Maybe I'm listening differently, but okay, now you show up. Yeah. Uh <laughs> oh, you should. No, you gotta be angry. She's so happy, but I gotta be angry at him first. Oh, I'll have an extended offer. I'll, I'll pour some health tea. I'm so angry at you. I'm gonna pour some tea. I'll have an extended offer. <laughs> yeah, it was all decorated for you. Yes. For you! Oh, you realize. Surely it wasn't for you to much. Nice one. Aww. Yeah, she's a big deal here. Also, there's six different years. She's only second year, right? Yeah. Very humble. Extremely humble about this. Protect Babulus. Make the power gap. Would Amiri be in favor of the power gap closing? Because this is a very interesting scenario. Yeah, I'm sorry, Amiri. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Amiri. I'm sorry. <laughs> No, we... Well... We, didn't, we said we visit maybe. We didn't say we accept it. I think there's a little bit of a logical jump to, but... Two hours? Jesus. Gramps. Because he's so eccentric, I think he would favor the power gap closing. I, I, I really think that not a lot of people... Especially the people to hire up that take pride in their, like... Um, like these people, for example. Would they be in favor of the power gap closing? They probably think that a demon's strength and their magic is everything. We were born with this. This is our god-given talent. Not that the god, devils, demons, anyways. Devil-given talent, you know. I feel like they were really gatekeeping. Some important players here. This is Bilzebub, right? Asmo, it's his dad. Principal spirit, Paimon. Paimon? Kenshin. <laughs> She's got the little girl voice. Yeah, that accent too. Kind of like a gangster delinquent. Paimon doesn't fuck around. So he seems... To, he's in the main chair. He seems to be leading this entire thing. Beryl. Sullivan. Lady Levi. The big three, I guess, right now. Where did the previous demon king go? What happened? Beria. Er, isn't he what Sullivan mentioned in the beginning about like, oh, they're getting I want, uh, He wanted to show off you like, I got a grandchild now and like, they, they show it to like Beryl and stuff too, right? Mm. But? He's not a Yod yet? Healing? He Sullivan's more healing focus? Support? Yeah, this is Iruma right now. No, this is Iruma. The blood pact, Iruma. Again, human blood heals demons. Foreign realm, the most important thing. Foreign realm, Earth. Golden ring, we have it. Iruma. Again. Val. These are really important like, demon names, but the prophecy says the demon king will come from a foreign land. Who of these guys were from the foreign land there, right? Were they? I don't know, actually. I assume that this is all entire of the netherworld. They're all born and raised here. Iruma's outside that's why gramps brought a candidate from the foreign world right all right the big three belial he's quite an old man too lady levi the three greats this is a new thing the three great they're probably playing some board game or some shit it's probably not like a like a serious no no they're faking us out not exactly what did i say what did I they're fucking comparing grandchildren okay bell okay he's cute 
Are they attending a school too? <laughs> I've changed. I've surpassed my limit. Behold! <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Did you skip the step? He doesn't have a son though, right? Yeah, 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 exactly! How do you have a grandchild if you skipped your... Uh, adopt a grandchild. Technically, it should be a stepson, I guess, but... A little life hack. <laughs> six, 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 uh. But more importantly, from a foreign land. Well... I don't know about kid now, we bought him! <laughs> well, just a little bit of human trafficking. Well, that was pretty short. Hmm. So casually? They're very on good terms with each other. They got nicknames, you know, Sully, Bellion, you know. AIDS hold superiority. <laughs> Probably something like Tsunade, right? You hold egg? <laughs> He turned into a little egg chibi thing too, what the fuck? <laughs> but he's probably like that Tsunade thing where they're really old grandma, but they got the youthful skin of like a 20 year old, right? Okay, sure. You're two years younger only? Mm. It's only that. He's not Yod. And he's a healer. Quit holding back, so he's intentionally holding himself back. Gotcha, gotcha. Mm. Other words, he has he had never had any intentions to be demon king. Even like the first episode in Orientation, everybody was like, Oh, it's the chair demon, he surely could be the demon king, right? No, never was about him. And he's intentionally holding himself back. Why? Because of the prophecy? I don't know. We gotta understand why that oh, who should who is this? Amity's dad or are you Amity's dad? My daughter Amity's dad, gotcha. Is opera somehow related? I don't know. It's you know his hair? Illegally crossing. Well, maybe. <laughs> maybe I did that. <laughs> Shit. Uh oh. That's where we got the kid from. Oh. <laughs> oh no, Grounds is in danger. No, the food is just amazing. The food is just amazing. Nah, Sully will be fine. Nah, Sully, Sully, Sully will be fine. But very, very interesting with the different hierarchy here. Well, we knew that Sullivan was really important. But first, we meet like, um, like everybody has like a different name, like Thunderlord, Bal. Uh, I forgot the other names. There, there's, there's like so many different one of the, ones of them, right? But so there's like, how many of them are here? There's currently Lord, uh, Lord of Seduction is Asmodeus. As as is dad. I'm not sure if it's mom or dad, but it's Asmodeus. It could be the mom. Oh shit! As as his mom could be a fucking milf. The Lord of Seduction. That's a huge name, right? There's two people that's absent in this table right now, but they're called in the Tower of ba Babel, 665th floor. One, two, three, four, five, six people have shown up. I guess there's eight people in total. I, I don't really know. I, 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 I'm trying to get the count right now of all the people in the on the chair, but with the two people missing, by well, such a serious tone, lightning is striking behind the background, and everybody's just looking so serious. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, then again, there are four missing seats on top of that, but these people seems to be really the top, top execs that rules over. I don't know the netherworld, but they're not they're not all there's the great three that don't even participate in it They're they're beyond that right? This is like extra secretary work that the great three doesn't have time to be doing They want a new demon king Because the demon king has been absent and apparently there's disorder in this world We don't know what form of disorder there is yet. I haven't seen any signs of chaos or any I don't know, the balance is lost in the netherworld. I haven't seen anything like that because we've been focusing just on, you know, Edema's like daily school day activities. But apparently the Demon King has been, again, it's been reiterated multiple times in the beginning of the like, the season. The Demon King, the throne has been empty. Why? No clue. Who was the previous one? Was he slain? Did he resign? I don't know, but it's empty. And everybody primes Sullivan to assume the seat. Even though he's not a Yod, Yod is the highest rank. 
And Sabrup told us, only from the Yod ranking do we select a Demon King. But this is probably a situation where Sullivan is probably, of course, a Yod level, but he himself doesn't place him there for whatever reasons. I don't know. Maybe he doesn't even want a democratic vote of like, oh, you're in Yod, therefore you can qualify as Demon King. No, he's gonna he's intentionally capping himself. And someone also mentioned we don't need a healer. Sullivan specializes in healing and supporting then? I never knew. I mean, we haven't really seen Sullivan use any type of like magic to fight. We've just seen him like load up the magic ring. What else have we seen? It's pretty much it. Reinforce Iruma's hands, I guess. Is that some kind of supporting magic? I guess so then, huh? So maybe there's been some hints dropped around, but Sullivan's is not like an offensive type yet. The great three, the three that presides over overall, Lady Levi, right? Uh, Lady Levi, Sullivan, and Belial. They all call Belly. They call him Belly. <laughs> Sully, Belly, right? They're all just chilling. They have, I get, I mean, I get it that they're just kind of just chilling. They're, they're just kind of chilling. But obviously, this is like a really important issue of why the Demon King throne is empty. Nobody wants to seem to see. I thought that it'd be like a, everybody would want it more than the other person to, to the point where they start backstabbing. But no, they're just casually playing cards and they nominate Sullivan. You should do it. It's like, ah, nah, we're fine. I feel like you should be the one in charge. Sullivan doesn't want to do it. Why? Probably because he knows that Iruma has to do it. Why? I don't know, other than the fact that the prophecy specifically states the Demon King will come from a foreign land. Mm -hmm. Like, I... That that line has gone past me so many times. It's been reiterated, it's been like mentioned multiple times, but every time I heard it, I, yeah, the Demon Throne's empty, yeah, I get it. Uh, something about the foreign land, the ring, and I'm like, wait, 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 foreign land? Earth? Humans? The Demon King is gonna be human? Can a human be a demon? Will there be some kind of transition? I don't know. But the blood pact, we know from the guardians, right? We gave the guardians some blood, human blood. They were healed. So eventually, I would imagine Yudum is going to have like a supporting healing role too, right? On top of being able to fight with magical apparatuses. And he has a glutton feeder ring. And Sullivan is... This is all his design. This is all according to his plan. He won't mention it, right? I wonder if Lady Levi and Belial kind of like caught on to the end where you were, we were showing Yuduma, it's like, what? How can you just fucking get a kid out of nowhere? What are you talking about? It's like, just a little secret. It's like, bro, you don't even have a child. How can you skip? How can you skip a generation? That's a, a, technically a stepson, but it's his grandchild now, right? They were playing it pretty casually, but surely they could connect the dots of, oh, you're just mentioning this child who, well, doesn't really look like you. You don't even have a son. You have a grandchild. Where'd you get him? And then... You know, Amity's that shows up. Hey, by the way, I hear that you went to, you know, the human world illegally. So, we know that before, only the top-ranking demons know that humans exist. Because they're able to, I guess, get it. I don't know. They're, they're able to meet them. Uh, Opera says something along those lines, too. I thought that... I didn't know this was, like, an illegal activity, though. Shit. I, maybe there's legal ways of doing it, but... Uh, obviously, Sullivan didn't want to go through the fucking legal process and be like, Yeah! By the way, I'm gonna bring a grandson over from human world because it's this is all gotta be secret. We gotta hide his identity so far, right? Ah, uh, and like uh, the battler stuff was the focus, but like as soon as we got this new faction of like groups of demons, these higher ranking executives seem to run the netherworld. On top of missing demons, like we haven't seen the, the Lord of Seduction or the Dark Lord Glacia, right? I don't, I don't know who these people are, but well, I'm sure we'll meet them soon enough. And then the big three, the great three, Lady Levi, Belial, and Sullivan. They, oh, I wonder if, and then I guess above that would be the Demon King, right? So things are very getting interesting. The world building is slowly coming along, but I still haven't, they're not showing us like we, actual threats to the netherworld. Why is netherworld in disorder because of missing a Demon King? Are we going to have serious arcs where we fight people? Who are we fighting if not just regular tests and exams and, you know, to get our ranks up, right? I need to, there's no antagonist yet, nor do we even know that there is an antagonist group yet. Maybe they'll slowly build that into, but I'm getting more interested in this world the more I watch this anime. But hey, if you stick around this long, if you don't join my reaction, you already know what I'm going to say. Check out the other videos and playlists on my channel if you watch another video immediately after this one. It helps YouTube go push down my small channel to recommend it so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys, take care.